guys are full of energy today because we have a really, really, really exciting beanbag challenge for you today. So come on with me and we're going to sit down and look at all the different items that I brought today to start us out on your very own beanbag challenge. My name is Shannon and I work at the Ottawa Public Library. Today we are going to be creating our very own beanbag toss challenge. You can use a lot of different items around your house, which is the very exciting news. And this can be done inside your house very carefully and outside in your backyard or in an empty space at some sort of green space where you can go visit. Um, you just need to bring a bag with a few of your supplies. And that's basically all we're gonna do. So if you've got your grown up with you and we're ready to get our supplies ready, I'm gonna show you a few items that we've picked out. Now this is called Ready, Set, Move. So once we've looked through the items, we're gonna get up, we're gonna move around and we're gonna have a lot of fun together. All right, so the first thing, we'll start with a few of our, our easier targets. So I've got here, two pieces of construction paper. We're gonna put these on the ground and we're gonna throw the beanbag onto them. And then to make it harder, we're gonna take one of them away and see if we can hit a smaller target. Okay. I also have something a little bit silly. Anybody know what this is? Yes, it is a giant rain boot. So if you can get one of your relatives who has maybe bigger feet than you, you will have a very big target. If you have teeny tiny feet, you could also use small rain boots um, or a shoe. That would work too. So I've got a big rubber boot. Um, I also have, this is kind of neat. So I found this outside. It's a mini little frisbee and it's got a big hole on the inside. If you don't have anything with a big hole on the inside, the best news is we can make one. I have in my hand already is a shoelace. So for this shoelace, I am actually going to be tying something to it. So we have a hanging target to throw our bean bag through. Basically anywhere that you can take the two ends of your shoelace and tie it to, we're going to tie one and we're going to tie two knots. And this is going to help us make our hanging challenge. So this one's pretty tough. So I also have a few different sized containers with me today. So I've got one that had a fruit snack in it, a little bit of a fruit cup snack. I've cleaned that out. I also have canned goods, but now it's empty. It's been washed and it's ready for our beanbag toss challenge. Another item that I've got is another jar from my recycle bin. So this is kind of great because this is kind of stuff that you can find in your recycle bin, rinse them out and then use them as a game. And I also have a little cooking bowl in here. Okay. Now, if you are doing this challenge outside or in the bathtub, <laughs> you can get yourself some ice cubes. So I have a little bowl because I'm outside. I've got a bowl of ice cubes. If you did this in the house and you threw this in the house, it might get a little bit messy. So definitely ask uh, your grown up if you can use ice cubes or if you should use something else. Okay. So the best part about this, I completely forgot to tell you that if you don't have a bean bag, that's okay. You can use anything in your house that you find that's not breakable and that you have permission to use. I'll show you what I've picked because I actually don't have a bean bag. So I'm calling it the bean bag toss challenge, but I don't have a bean bag. So I have three different sizes, three different sizes of items that I'm going to be tossing today. So I'll start off with our smallest one. It's actually a cat toy. Um, so I'm going to use that maybe to throw into the smaller little fruit cup container or the little clear plastic jar I found in my recycle bin. So that's one item I'm going to be tossing. Another item that I'm going to be tossing is, so this is a little hedgehog that I absolutely love. She's pink and fuzzy and soft and you want to just cuddle up with her. Um, but she has agreed to help me out with this challenge because she loves to jump in the air and fly and she loves an exciting challenge. So she's ready to go. And last but not least, I have another friend here. You might recognize this one. Um, it's great. Loves to fly. This bird loves to fly. Not always happy, but 
loves to fly. So I've asked if he can be part of our program today and he has said yes, right? Yeah. All right. So one more thing I have over here I just noticed. Um, we're hangers. So I have a giant hanger here and I've got a teeny tiny doll hanger for smaller clothes. That might make a little smaller target you could throw something through. And then I have another hanger here. Now the best part about these hangers, you might need a grown up to do this, or ugh, we're gonna pull this really, really hard. Pull that, stretch it out, and it's gonna make sort of a little square shape that we can throw it through. Okay, really excited to play with you guys. So to begin, we're gonna get up and we're gonna stretch and we're gonna move around so we don't hurt our arms or our muscles when we're playing this game. Okay, you guys all set? Now I'm gonna need you to stretch your arms out really, really wide. And you're gonna open your fingers up. You're just gonna wiggle your fingers. And we're gonna do a big lean down and touch your toes. Excellent, good job everybody. And we're reach up high, right to the sky. Okay, so I think we are ready to start tossing our bean bags. Are you all set? So to start out, you might want to get a little bit closer to your items. And then as you get better and better and better and better, you can back up maybe five feet or 10 feet and see if you can get them in. Each of these items are going to be different points. So I've decided since the boot is really big, that's going to be one point. Since the bowl might be a little trickier because when you throw something into it, it could bounce out or it could slide out or tip over, I'm going to give that two points. For this container over here, I think I'm going to give that three points because you know what? It might be a little bit trickier to get it into this one. Okay, now this, I think, my metal tin, is going to be four points. And last but not least, the teeny tiny fruit cup, it could be a yogurt container, that would work too, um, is gonna be five points, okay? So we're gonna see which one it lands in and see how many points I get. Are we ready? Okay, go. <gasps> yes! So it landed, I don't know if you saw where it landed, but it landed inside of the boot. So, I have that right. That means I've got one point so far, okay? Take this, take your bean bag, warm up your hands a little bit, maybe give a little squat, get down, get those leg muscles ready to go. Okay, one, two, three, go. I got it into the bowl. And the bowl is two points. So one plus two is three. So I'm at three points now. All right, I'm gonna try another toss. One, two, three. Oh, no points that time. So if you miss, you can try again and again and again. And this game could go as long or short as you want. If you get tired of throwing it, you need to take a break. Get a drink of water you can definitely do that run around a little bit that's a good idea too so for this part i've grabbed the two pieces of construction paper that i have and i put them right over here and i thought it might be fun um this is if you're playing outside or if you've gotten permission from an adult or you're playing in the bathtub. I've got my ice cubes. So I've got a bowl here of ice cubes. And I'm going to try and throw them at the construction paper. Ready? Okay, and the best part about this is you can actually see the mark when it hits the paper. So you know for sure if you're throwing it from really far away, you know for sure if you hit the target or not. That's the fun about this game is you can move these around and you can try and do this 
today, you can do it tomorrow, you can do it in two weeks, and you can keep changing the challenges up. That's why I'm trying to show you lots of different options. Okay, so now's the time that I'm gonna get you to gather up all of your hangers and your ring that you found. Uh, so you can use any of those and we're gonna go ahead and set them up. You can hang them from a tree. And so for this, I'm going to get you to take that shoelace that you had and we're going to put it through your cardboard ring or a circle that you found in your home. And we're going to tie two knots, one and two. If you need help from a grown up, that's okay. It's not super easy to tie knots. It takes a lot of practice. It's a good time to try though and practice that. So you've got two knots because if I just did one, it would fall right off. So that's nice and secure. We're going to hang that one up. I'm gonna hang it right here on the end. Okay, so um, I asked who wanted to be my helper. I asked both of my friends and Hedgehog decided that it was her turn first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use the Hedgehog. Are you ready to fly? You ready to fly? Okay, do we wanna wish her luck? Everybody wanna try and wish her luck? Good luck, good luck. Okay, now are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, I got it through the hanger. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's try this out. We ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, okay. So the underhand isn't working for me anymore. So I'm going to try and toss it overhand. Do you want to practice that? We're going to throw it like that over your head. You ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> It went right through. See, so you might have to try different tosses to get it through. We're gonna try one other way that I think might be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw it backwards. You're gonna tell me if it goes through, because I can't see. You ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, I think it might've gone through. Wow. So I must've got, oh, I lost count. I think, you know, a good idea might be to write down how many points it is and you can keep track of that on a piece of paper. Maybe a grown up or your brother or sister or your cousin could help you with that because I think you might need to keep score because I'm forgetting. Now you may have noticed that there's one friend that I haven't used yet in this beanbag toss challenge. But you know what? I completely forgot to use the bird in the challenge. So he, he decided that because I forgot about him, that he wants to sing a song with you. So I'm really, really hoping that you guys want to sing a song with me um, and get moving a little bit more because this challenge has been moving a lot of our arms. So we want to try and move different parts of our body. So everything's warmed up. So are we all set? This is a great time to do a song because the mosquitoes are coming out and we're gonna dance the mosquitoes away. Are we ready? We can pretend there's mosquitoes around and we're gonna turn around. Okay, and we're gonna jump up and down. And we're gonna sing the hokey pokey. We're not gonna start off with the right hand or the left hand because we've been using our hands a lot. I'm gonna start with my right foot, okay? You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Shout! You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. It's hard to balance, isn't it? You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, so if you have your bean bag with you or your stuffed animal, we are gonna use them in this part of the song, we said. You put your stuffies in, you put your stuffies out, you put your stuffies in and you shake them all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Awesome, okay. That was a great song. Now I have asked the bird where he would like to fly through. And he has decided to give us a new challenge. Now I didn't show you this earlier, 
because I didn't know that he was going to want to jump into it. All right, here we go. So we're going to hang this one up here like we did last time. We'll hang that there. And I'm also going to hang up the bucket. I'm going to hang up the bucket too. Right on top here. Are we all set? I think because this is pretty challenging, I think I'm going to make this bucket 10 points. 10 points. And I think I'm going to make the ring maybe five points. I'm not going to spin it around because I think this is going to be a very difficult challenge. Are we set? All right, you ready? You know what? I think I should test it out first. Okay, he agrees. I'm going to test it out first with our Kleenex. So we're going to take that Kleenex or that napkin or the tissue paper and we're going to scrunch that up. We're going to scrunch, 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 really, really tight until it makes a tiny ball. Okay. And I'm going to try and throw this ball. You know what? I've got an extra Kleenex here. Why don't I make two of them? Okay. All right. So I have two. Give me two chances. All right. I'm going to try and throw this. Are we all set? This time we're going to count in French just for fun. Un, deux, trois. Oh, it went right through. It went right through. That was neat. All right. Let me see if I can get it into the bucket. Two, three, go. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so we all set now? Yeah? You ready? We're warmed up? Okay, he's ready to fly. Can we count together and help him out? We're gonna throw our stuffies or our bean bags into there. One, two, three. Oh. He did it! Yay! <laughs> he went right through the hoop. Good job! That was great. Thank you so much for joining us and making your own beanbag toss challenge. I hope you had fun. We sure did. And don't forget to click like at the bottom of the video if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel so you get notices when we upload new content and check out all of our videos on there. They're really, really fun. And if you want more activities, visit www.biblioottawalibrary.ca to check out more books. And I hope you guys are going to have a lot of fun and I can't wait to see you until next time. Bye.